Now, here are Regis Philbin and Kelly Ripa. Oh, boy. Hi, how you doing, everybody? Monday, April 30th. Excuse me. Oh, okay. don't worry. 2001. What happened to you? Did you get pregnant? I did. I got <laughs> pregnant while you were gone. Oh, boy. I've been gone for two weeks, and um, we had the last week, everybody had a week off, so mm -hmm. I guess you had a little vacation, too. I did. I did, but I want to hear about your vacation. Boy, let me tell you something. That first week you weren't here. Yeah. The sighs and moans from the audience in disappointment. Oh, really? I just want you to know that everyone missed you very oh, well, much. thank you very much. Even... <laughs> Even the, the co-hosts... Yeah. ...thought that they, they were going to be... They missed me, too. The they, <laughs> they really did. missed me. <laughs> the co-hosts thought they were going to be co-hosting with you. There was a whole... Oh, you know, there was the no, point no, we used. no, no, no. Everybody was looking forward <laughs> to being with you. So, anyway, it's great to be back. Um, and... Uh, Shall I tell you a little bit about the Please, vacation? Please, I've yes. been dying to hear about it. Well, um, first up was Casablanca. Uh, you remember Casablanca, the movie, Bogart, Claude Rains, Peter Lorre, Sidney Greenstreet, all those great Warner Brothers yeah. characters? Well, Casablanca don't look like that anymore. Oh. This is the scene from the port. Oh. Casablanca is a bustling city, about five million people, oh. and they're all running and going, and there's no Rick's Cafe there. Bogart's gone. It's not the same. <laughs> But they have a mosque there, and there's Barry and Susan and our friends the Glazers, and we're standing in front of the biggest mosque in Casablanca. And so you travel with them a lot, yes? Yeah, yeah. Those we, are your traveling friends. Well, yeah, we, we travel a lot. He's been uh, riding on my coattails now for about 10 years. <laughs> it's always yeah, good I, to have I can't a get rid like of this that. guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then from there, we went to um, uh, Bilbao, Spain. Oh. Which is really where, where Julian is from, the Basque country, uh -huh. Bilbao. And another beautiful city, uh, beautifully laid out. Everybody was saying, do, when they, when they heard I was, do you know Julian? <laughs> he runs ABC in America. <laughs> yeah, right, sure. <laughs> Standing over here with the headset on. Is that what you told them all at home, Exactly. Julian? Very good. Yeah, Julian, he runs ABC. Sure he does, yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm looking for a decent picture of the Guggenheim Museum, which is the big attraction there in, um, in Bilbao. But it's That's very, very one. modern. Uh, Frank Gehry was the architect. And uh, just mm -hmm. really something to see. We had to go there because, well, it's the Guggenheim Museum. The Guggenheim Museum is over on Fifth Avenue. It's a 10-minute walk through the park. You're going to see all the pictures. But no, we had to get off the boat because the Glazers had to go see the Guggenheim Museum. Well, you have to. You know, there are certain things that you're expected to see when you're overseas. And here's another shot. We're standing outside. It was raining. We finally get into the Guggenheim Museum, and guess what? There wasn't one painting there. For the next six months, it's an Armani retrospective. Armani? As in Georgia? <laughs> I wanted to see Picasso's. I wanted to see Renoir's. There's I want to see what Michelle Pfeiffer wore to the 83 Oscars. It's there. It's there. Everything he ever created <laughs> is there. Not a painting there. Nothing. Nada. I'm an art lover, you know what I mean? You're speaking Spanish so well. <laughs> That's right, not a, not bad. Very good. So we never saw a thing there. And then, let's see. Oh, we did take one interesting shot in, um, in France. There's Joy and I in front of some... Horses patoots. There you go. <laughs> Joy had them all beat. But anyway... <laughs> That's a compliment is right. <laughs> <laughs> Little town in France, we found a statue. You know how stupid you are, you gotta pose. There's a statue of a guy bent over, so Barry and I had a pose with the guy. It doesn't mean anything to anybody. It's a good thing he wasn't naked. <laughs> That's right. You <laughs> would have God seen it things. Wasn't Italy. <laughs> <laughs> you would have seen things you never saw before. That's right. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm looking. I didn't have a lot of time to get these pictures in order. Oh, yeah, Lady Kazan was on. Lady Kazan was get on the uh, ship. Yeah. How about that, yeah, Lady? And uh, and uh, Debbie Reynolds uh, did the entertainment there. See, 
Yeah. What kind of ship was this? A crystal cruise ship. This is a very fancy. Yeah. Look at the captain. Ship. Hang on to Debbie Reynolds there. Yeah. Look at him. Okay. Uh, he's got a hold of her too. Yeah. Look at her beautiful joy loose. Then we have dinner. You know, all dressed up. Very, very nice. fancy. Yeah, very classy. Hold them, hold them longer. Yeah. Okay, fine. There's Barry eating two appetizers, two entrees. <laughs> You know, you can eat um, uh, whatever you want on the, on the... He ate them. They had to stop four times to get provisions. He just wouldn't stop. Do they, do they, it's one of those ships that they feed you all day, all night with the big ice sculpture buffets? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Big ice sculpture. Whatever you want laid out there. You take whatever you want. So now you, Ugly go, on Americans. These, you go on these cruise ships. Yeah. And is that like a floating appearance for you? I mean, what do people, are they all over you? Because there's nowhere you can go for privacy. No, no. I mean, you're very, I mean, you're very, very, very popular. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know because while you were gone, people kept asking me where you were. As if, <laughs> as if I had you in my handbag and was they, just they, waiting they, to whip you they out. They're to track me down, huh? Uh, yeah, people do come up and, and say hello, and it's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. It really is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I enjoy meeting people. Uh, and they get real close, and they stare at me just like you were staring at me. <laughs> but Am Cas I doing that again? No, in Casablanca, I did a little shopping. Yeah. Uh -uh. We walked into a store, and of course, they, they're traders in Morocco. I mean, these guys, they love to negotiate. They want to trade with you. Your money, their products. <laughs> So I got involved with these guys, and I bought Gelman a little something. Oh, terrific. And, uh, Bobby, do we have that for Gelman? Now, Gelman, this is the real McCoy. This is a real... <laughs> is this legal, Rich? You, you got this through customs? Take a couple of puffs of that, Gelman. <laughs> get you through the day. <laughs> what did you put in there? <coughs> I'm glad That's I'm not the real a stuff, Gilman, straight from Morocco. Woo! Did you just inhale that? Yes, I just Without did. Without knowing what it was? Well, I trust Reach. <laughs> what does it smell like, Art? Not <laughs> <laughs> Got a minute? Yeah. And here's what, uh, here's what I got for you. You got me a present? Yes, I got you a present. Oh, you're so I couldn't good. resist. Now, first of all, Oh, you better open it. Well, there it is. Wrapped. Officially wrapped by the Moroccan traders. And they I... did it. Yeah, they do a beautiful, beautiful job. job. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been kicked around a little bit in the last. Oh, is it upside down? My God, is the, is the price still on the there? The price is still on it. I didn't say it. Oh, this is beautiful. This is. Now you know what that is. <laughs> I, I shouldn't try to open it. Yes. This is, here I am negotiating with these guys and also learning how to open this thing. This is, this is what they call a secret box. It sh oh, wait. Wait a minute. Oh, you... the secret is... Uh, don't break it. I'm, here, you open it. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Joy said you should take it out and play with it so that you know how to open it. <laughs> and I said, no, I remember because the guys, we went over this four times here, see? <laughs> Me and my pals right there. It's beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, wait, you see, you're going to break it now. Now you're breaking it. Wait a minute. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> geez, I forgot how to open this thing. <laughs> Want me to play with it? Well, you take it back next year. Now you see, but this is for hidden objects, things that you don't want anyone. <laughs> now everyone knows. Things that match the thing that Gelman can smoke out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, as if you don't know what I'm talking about. What is it, Gelman? You think you can open this? Wait, well, wait, yeah, yeah, I could do it. Sure. This is this is doing something. It's like Indiana Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay. That's good. Re ready? Okay. I'll so. figure it out off camera, Rich. Oh. No. <laughs> this thing moves. You're right. But I there, love there, it. There's a couple of moves. <laughs> there's so, a couple of moves in here that. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it is very handsome piece, isn't Thank it? You. That, that is. is. <laughs> it matches. Thank you. Go ahead, Gilman. You know everything. Go ahead and try. No. I was going to figure it out off camera so you can move Let's on. Let's see you do it, yeah. No, we don't want to move on. Well, it probably takes a little thinking. Do we? Uh, honestly, we don't move on. it's a very tricky. Oh, Hold on. 
I think that's the that's the key that opening it. He no, he can't get it he open. He broke my gift. Just wow. in case Gilman Bring breaks into your Gilman's house, be assured pipe. he can't open that. <laughs> I want to break Gilman's pipe now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll figure it out. Yeah, he'll figure it out. Well, I certainly missed you very much. Well, thank you. I missed I'm you, too. Glad you're back safely. Okay. Now, one of the highlights of being aboard the ship was that one day I received this picture mm. of baby Gilman. Ah. Uh, right there. Uh. Is she Baby Gilman gorgeous? in a very seductive pose. Yes. <laughs> Baby, another picture of Baby Gilman. She's perfect. Beautiful little girl. Really perfect. Name is Jamie Alexandria Gilman. Alexandra. 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 Not Alexandria, <laughs> that's the name of the city. Alexandra. And of course, you remember the, remember the honeymoon pictures that Gilman took after he, his marriage? <laughs> Where all you saw was Gilman? All you saw was Gilman, one post of Gilman after another on his honeymoon. I guess he He's gave birth to the baby too, because all you see is him. Well, you know, I'm looking around for Lori. I can't find Lori. I do see her name up here, Hibbert. <laughs> Hibbert, I guess yeah, she used her you know, maiden name. Well, no, her they always put the still maiden, in her name maiden name. On name on so. the, on the, I'm a girl, well, but that's the only sign that she was involved in this. <laughs> well, because she, <laughs> He had a heck of a night, but he finally got me. it done. Yeah. She didn't. She didn't want to have her picture taken. She just. She just pushed that out of some place. Exactly. <laughs> do you have to be so graphic? I'm telling you. Do you think she wanted to put on lipstick and have her picture taken? Well, he did. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Hey, I've, in the paper today, tattoos turn out to be trashy. I agree. <laughs> Kids who wear tattoos, they say, you know, are more prone to get in trouble. Look what happened to me. <laughs> She's got a tattoo on her ankle there, but uh, isn't that's, that... Isn't that's that... not the only one I got. <laughs> do you have another tattoo? I have another tattoo. Really? I certainly do. Where, where is that one? Um... <laughs> it's 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 actually it's not it's not on my my rear end but it's it's sort of um it's on the above the 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 panty line the crack <laughs> Did you ever have that feeling as soon as you said something you shouldn't have said it? <laughs> Why did I That's ask for where it was? my whole career here. My whole career, as soon as it comes out of my mouth, I go, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. But it's a, it's a peanut M&M guy. Oh, is it really? And he's like this. <laughs> well, well, who wouldn't be down there? <laughs> but now that... Now that um, you know, now that I'm seven and a half months pregnant, it sort of looks like a whole bag of peanut m and That's right. We are getting closer, stretched closer out. and closer. Now, we're really six weeks away, right? Yes, we are six weeks away. Six weeks away. Mm -hmm. And Dana Dodge of our staff is pregnant. We found out that, too. Everybody's getting pregnant. Isn't it amazing? You have the, the Midas touch. Anyone who works for you gets pregnant. I keep waiting for Art to get pregnant. <laughs> Don't worry, he will. <laughs> Long wait. <laughs> the big story around here since we've been gone is that after 18 years of close living, trench warfare in one big office upstairs where the live offices are, 18 years of stale Chinese food in the corner, of stuff that has not been touched over the years, the biggest pig pen in the, you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Slops of Italian food, pe pizza slices, still. <laughs> Finally, they had an infestation of dust mice. 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 <laughs> the, dust attack, the attack of the dust mites. How do you know, how do you know if you have dust mites? Uh, the... If you feel that in your hair. <laughs> How do you know, how'd you find out you had them, Gilman? Well, everyone has them. They live on your body. They eat your skin, Reese. Get yeah. out of here. I mean it, yeah. You've got them right now. 
Oh, but we I'm had a lot of them. Yeah. They test for them. Yeah. Now I'm itchy. <laughs> well, they finally got that cleaned up, but what a, what a sty it was, Coleman. You know that. Even your desk is clean. <laughs> so that's what's new. So what's, what's going on with you? Where well, did you go this uh, We week? went to uh, Disney World. Really? Yes, in Orlando. And it was, I've got to tell you, it's wonderful there. It really is. Yeah. I, I, I'm used to going down once a year for the, um, the ABC Super Soap weekend that they have. But I just... Uh, I'm in charge of that. I put that all together myself. But uh, this is the first time I've actually gone there with my family just for a vacation. And it was, it was terrific. Can't beat it, can you? Everybody kept looking for you and asking for you. And, and they told me that your room is much nicer than my room. <laughs> they said that your suite is much nicer than my suite. Oh, really? I can't imagine how nice your suite is because yeah. they gave me a nice... Really? Yeah. Oh, Mark and I aren't used to such things. What was happening to your box? Who is that person, Gilman? No, Who's no. the guy? You know what I found, Reg? There's a keyhole. It needs a key. Yeah, Do you have a key? The key is in there. <laughs> Gilman, who, who's the girl? She was, uh, you're an audience member, aren't you? Yes. Yes, it's an audience member. People come out of the audience to help us out? <laughs> she who, claimed... Who invited her up there? She... Who are you? Spots before. Have you been to uh, Morocco? Morocco? Yes, yes, I have been. All right. And so I thought I knew how to get... open it, but your key is in the box, so it's right. Kind of pointless. No, 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 no. There are things that slide. Yeah, yes. it slides back. I slid everything, out. but it still seems to be locked. And the key locked. is supposed to fall out when you do that, but the key's in there. I knew I should have got that thing new. I got it used. <laughs> Probably. No, it's in there. No, you can do it. Keep working on we, it. Okay, okay. <laughs> we went to Morocco at Epcot. <laughs> And there was a belly dancer there. Oh, yeah. She was terrific. She's all right, isn't she? She was absolutely gorgeous. I, but I, she made me want to wear sparkly things and cups on my hands. And, you know, I thought I, I, thought I had the, the moves. I have the belly. <laughs> you sure do. More belly than you could ever More ask for. More belly than I know what to do with. How's Lori feeling? Lori's doing terrifically, yeah. yeah. She uh, recovered very quickly and good. she's feeling good. I called your house out of Long Island over the weekend and there was your faithful sister, the one who put you to college by working yeah, cleaning right. floors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dana. Yes, Dana I know was her. on the job. You were out. I don't know where you were in somebody's wine cellar, I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Dana was there taking care of nursing Lori and, and holding the baby in her arms. She's terrific. That she day. really is that girl. I'm telling you, you're a lucky guy to have a sister like that. Doesn't he look more handsome now that he's a father. He's glowing. He's, he's actually glowing. glowing, yeah. I missed Galman. Now, all he talks about is the baby. Isn't oh, that funny? On. Isn't that something? What a story we have here. Hmm? Somebody said this would happen to you, Gilman. Reach. Somebody said this would happen to We've you. We've spoken for 10 minutes, and it was all about the no, show. Somebody said this is... Said Gelma doesn't understand, but then one day Gelma will have a baby, and this is the day. She was right. <laughs> He's so handsome. <laughs> I think it's important to have a handsome executive producer. You're absolutely. You right. see some of the other shows. Oh. <laughs> I'm right, Gilman, I don't you, you've got a really big thing. I'm going to take a break. Right, we'll, Bobby got oh it open. Gosh, Bring it over here. It open? Did you get it open, Bobby, or the Morocco girl? Dave Mullen got uh, it. Dave open. Mullen. <laughs> he slid off the head. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. That's so. <laughs> it's you know what? Gorgeous. This is not the way it's supposed to work, though. Something slides. Yeah. That piece slides. No, you, you, you're wrong, Gilman. Okay. There's, there's something else in there. We'll work on it. We'll have it. Mullen show you in the break. Okay, fine. Thank you very much. I'm going to tell you who's on the show today. You're welcome, yes. and then we're going to come back. Gilman's all excited about the Wheelie SUV big Wheelie show. Big. Wheelie, Wheelie Big. Wheelie Big. George Carlin will be out here in just a minute. Yeah. Here's George's new book, Napalm and Silly Putty. Uh. Spring Interiors Week, so we're going to have easy spring decorating tips with Colin Cowie. Right He's right over there. Hey, Colin, how you doing? Look at the beautiful job he did with our old furniture. Isn't that something? <laughs> we haven't even started yet. Um, I know you haven't. Uh, Colin, it'd be good to see you again. And the new guy on the X-Files, Robert Patrick. And we'll be right back in just a minute. Don't go away. 
still ahead on live from the X-Files, actor Robert Patrick. We begin Spring Interiors Week with Colin Cowley. And coming up next, comedian George Carlin. Okay, so here, here's how it works. I've just been briefed. Oh, <laughs> oh here it is. No, no, All that... Right. I want to show you. You got to slide the thing. Slide the thing this way. Right. Then you slide this thing up like that. Rich. <laughs> Dump it out. Like that. See. Okay. Then you get the key out. Uh, then you got to slide this thing. Other side. What? Close that. <laughs> you don't. You know what? You don't need the key. <laughs> All right, time. Yes, Kelvin, you know what that sound means? It's Wheelie Big SUV Trivia. Yeah. A horn to play. Yeah, that's going to be very annoying for this month. <laughs> We're giving away four SUVs, one every Friday, I guess it is, right? So on the wheel are the names of seven randomly selected uh, entrants who are on the phone and ready to play. We're going to spin the wheel to see who is going to be the very first one to compete for this week's 2002 fully loaded GMC Envoy worth $35,000. We're going to pick up a name every day, and then on Friday, everybody will be here. Gelman, is that Yes, it? we're going to fly him in. Fly him in, and, and then we'll, we'll compete give... on Friday compete. to win the car. All right, okay. good. We're going to spin the wheel now. All right, Kathy Fine from Seaville, New Jersey, is uh, the first winner. Hi, Kathy. How you doing? Good. How are you, Regan? <clears throat> good. So tell me about wh wh where you're from. Seville. Is that a beach town? Yeah, it's about 10 minutes outside of Seattle City. Oh, my goodness. You know, my parents and I, uh, we used to rent a, a beach house in Sea Isle City for two weeks at the end of every August. Oh, that's cool. It's gorgeous down there. It is. Yeah. So what do you do? I babysit kids. You babysit kids? Yeah. Oh, good. All right, great. All right, so Kathy, you're the very first one. Yes. You've got one guess in the 20 seconds, okay? okay. Here we go. On Friday's show, we talked with actor Gary Sinise. He's currently starring in the Broadway play One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Who did we mention won an Academy Award for Best Actor for his performance in the 1975 film One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Oh, that is... Um, oh, what's his name? Oh, um, seventy-five. it was... Um, what's his name? Ten oh. seconds. Oh, one, two, Jack Nicholson. Yes. 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 Oh, congratulations, Kathy. Uh, we'll see you on Friday when you'll compete for it. I lost my microphone. I was so excited for you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Stand we'll there by the peanut guy. We'll see you on Friday. <laughs> to compete for a, a brand new 2002 GMC Envoy. Now you can help a lucky member of our studio audience win a critically acclaimed Wave Radio CD from Bose valued at $499. Please pick a number between 1 and 150. Uh, 21. So you understand how this works. Every day this week, we'll spin the wheel. We'll pick another. If she gets it right, uh, she'll be here. And then on Friday, all of them will be here. Correct. And we'll play for the SUV. Get ready. He's coming out, and we can't stop him now. Napalm. You want napalm? You're going to get 